welcome back to another Nava Rose video. Today's video is going to be a thrift flip, but it's not no ordinary thrift flip. We today are going to be cutting up some designer pieces, like real designer. You guys might be surprised, not really, but the DIY Gucci and DIY Louis Vuitton outfits were totally fake because your girl does not have one, the funds to buy real designer and cut it up, and two, have the balls to even cut up a real Louis Vuitton or Gucci bag. And today's thrift flip video is sponsored by Shop Tiger. If you guys have never heard of them, they are a shopping app that you can use on your desktop or mobile device, and it's an app that I use quite often. I bought a few vintage product pieces from the Real Real, and that's actually where I get a lot of my secondhand vintage designer items. For the most part, I use Shop Tiger when I'm buying luxury items, you know, because your girl does not have the funds to just buy whatever designer handbag that I want whenever I want. So I'll usually add that item onto Shop Tagger. That way I'll be notified via email or on my phone whether it has gone on sale. I am very frugal and I love saving money, okay? It can also let you know when an item is back in stock. So for example, I really absolutely want these mesh Prada socks, but they're literally sold out everywhere. So I added it onto my shop tagger. That way I'll be notified when it comes back into stock so I could be the first one to buy it. So this is my luxury wish list. As you guys can see, these are all the luxury and designer items that I want, but you know, don't really want to spend all that money on right now. And yes, I saved the Versace and Kith collection because I need at least one piece from there for some obvious reasons. Shop Tiger can also help you organize your shopping into multiple wish lists, whether it's designer items or clothes for school or for work or you know for going out. And when you're ready to check out, a little guy pops up on your screen. That way you could add some coupons for more savings. Or you could check the coupons tab in Shop Tiger and see which stores that you shop at actually have coupons at the moment. It will also be added a new cashback feature so keep a lookout for that you guys can download the shop tiger app using the link down in my description box and now let us cut up some Prada baby so we're gonna start off with the cell phone case since it's the easiest I found this 90s cell phone holder and I thought it was so cool especially because it had the logo plate on the front and you know I just instantly knew that I wanted to turn it into those utility belts that you see all the time so what I did was I used the same strap that it came with and all I did was loop it through the ring I grabbed each side through the two loops and I pulled it to tie it that's basically it and I didn't have to cut up anything and all I did was I just added it to my belt and you guys know it's not a Nava Rose outfit if I don't add a chain so I definitely had to do that as well. I love this little case because it's such a great accent for an outfit especially because it is Prada and it has the logo on the front. It makes your outfit look a little bit more high end and obviously since our phones are pretty gigantic nowadays you can't really fit a phone in this holder but what you can fit are some sunglasses keys beauty products or if you guys saw my tiktok you guys know that my pocky fits perfectly in here so some of you might think forty dollars is a lot for a cell phone case holder but not really if you think about it because one it's vintage and two it's prada it's not some random brand it's prada prada so next we have this vintage Prada skirt that I also got for $40. You guys know that I love my cutout mini skirt from YesStyle because I literally use it for every single outfit. So I just had to use it for my inspiration for this upcycling video. I think what drew me to this skirt the most was the attached belt loop ring that you guys could see here. And I also didn't even notice that it has the Prada logo engraved into the hardware. So I thought that was really cool. The first thing I did was cut off the excess material from the bottom because obviously I wasn't gonna use that and you know I usually eyeball this part as you guys have seen from my other videos but since the skirt was so nicely made I just want to make sure that I made it as pretty as possible so I'm using my ruler to measure out everything correctly the next thing I did was mark up two inches for my hem seam allowance because I'm gonna be doing a blind hem this time since that's what they used originally for the skirt and look, I'm pressing my hem. I never do that. I never iron my hems before I sew it. Isn't this crazy? Like, who am I? Then I readjusted the pins to prep for my hem. So if you guys are unfamiliar with a blind hem, it's basically a small stitch that you sew on the seam allowance. And then when it's turned right side out, you guys cannot see it from the outside. 
Pentane Blind Hem. I'm using this foot that came with my machine. If your machine came with a kit and it came with different sewing foots, you guys most likely will actually have a blind hem foot. You guys just have to check for it, but it'll have this interesting blade coming down from the center. By the way, switching the foots on my machine is like one of my favorite things ever in life. It's so fun. I don't know why. <laughs> I was also very slow and careful when sewing this hem because it was only the second time that I've ever done a blind hem before. And if you guys want to learn more on how to do a blind hem, I'll link a video down below that explains it very well. And I'm so sorry, I didn't realize that my camera wasn't focusing because of all the black in the frame, so it's very blurry. And as you guys can see, when it is turned right side out, the hem is invisible besides the crease that I made when I was sewing it, which will disappear later. For the lining, I just added a rolled hem to the bottom and I sewed that down with a straight stitch. The waist was pretty big, so I definitely had to take that in. I added two darts to the back, you know, like wherever I could fit it because I couldn't readjust the original darts on the skirt because I didn't want to mess anything up. So I added some darts wherever I could and I found some space between the belt loop and the side. And then from the front, I just folded where I wanted the cutout to start to help take in the waist. With my pencil, I marked where I wanted the opening to be and I cut that portion out. Like I said, I wanted to make this as nice as possible, so I pinned the edges of the cutout from the inside to add a seam. Once that was sewn, I added a top stitch on the fold to finish out the whole cutout. And then the last step was to make the straps for my ring and all I did was use the extra fabric from the cutout and I made two straps. And to finish off the skirt, I just added the straps to the sides of the cutout. And here is the finished outfit. I actually made a small top with that extra bottom fabric that I didn't use because I really didn't want to waste it. And I was a little bummed at the hem because I wasn't really paying much attention when I was sewing my blind hem because I was just so focused on making sure it came out right and I didn't realize that my tension was too high. So that's why you guys could see some puckering at the hem. But that is something that I might fix after this video. <laughs> Before I end this video, I do want to address something because I noticed recently some people are being dragged for upcycling oversized clothes. I definitely take into consideration um, the types of clothes that I upcycle now. Some people might think like I'm taking a bigger skirt and that skirt could have been used for um, someone that actually fits that skirt and it would have looked totally cute on them. However, I definitely will wear the skirt lots. You guys know I use my Yes Style skirt a lot. This skirt was on sale and it's been on the website for a long time. So it's not even like anyone really wanted it. It's been sitting up there, okay? It was discounted. Obviously no one really wants it. Plus it's a plain black skirt, guys. There's plain black skirts everywhere in every single corner of the universe. A black skirt is not that rare, but my skirt is rare. You will not see another skirt like this unless someone gets the same exact vintage Prada skirt and remakes this exact same skirt, then maybe it's rare as of right now. So with that being said, happy upcycling. I hope you guys are staying healthy and safe during this crazy time. I love you guys so much and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye! I've been scoring, cheap does, bore me, blah blah, you bore me, caution, warning. I've been scoring, I've been scoring.